Hey guys, welcome back to Or Plays. We are back here in Arkham City, and uh, if you remember from last time, uh, Harley Quinn just beat the crap out of us with a baseball bat, and the Joker pushed us out a window. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember that from before Catwoman's part, but uh, I woke up, and apparently, and it saved the cutscene. I fell to the ground, and Joker gave me a phone where he could call me and stuff, and I couldn't get it to replay that little cutscene. It was only like a five second cutscene, and then this happened. So, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Now, I have to go find Mr. Freeze because I'm poisoned and I need a cure. So, and Freeze is the best option I have. So, let's, let's go find Mr. Freeze. I just thought Mr. Freeze was kind of a jokey character, and I think it was because of the uh, Tim Burton. Batman where it was Schwarzenegger that played him that was my first like real contact with freeze and it was just kind of like god this guy's a joke man forget this guy but mr. freeze is actually a pretty badass character as I've learned like later on <coughs> excuse me I uh, played for like 30 minutes recording and I was like I'm not putting a 30 minute video of this out no one's gonna watch this for 30 minutes so trimmed it down to about 14 a little over 14 and then I'll put the rest up tomorrow and I'm doing this because it, if you do these uh, little AR missions or whatever man Joker's like really loud dude I turned the game volume down or the video volume like way down on this and it's still he's just blaring through but anyway uh, I can't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, if you do like four of these AR missions, you get this thing called the Grapnel Boost, and it really helps you out through the rest of the game. So I figured I might as well go ahead and get it out of the way while I was right here. These are like the easiest uh, AR missions are these right here. I've tried some of the others, man. They get freaking difficult, like crazy difficult. Oh my gosh, man. I played this game. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Almost spilled a coke everywhere I played this game all weekend I, I, my file my like game file I played just for fun and everything I've been playing the new game plus which uh, unlocks after you beat the game and basically it doesn't show you uh, the little wavy lines above the dudes heads when they're about to hit you and the difficulties like ramped up and I'm not, I don't play my game on easy I've been playing it on normal it is freaking hard, man. The most frustrating. I've been getting so frustrated, but Friday night and Saturday night, I was up until like 5 or 6 in the morning playing this. And I haven't stayed up all night playing a video game in a long time. I just, I love this game. This is one of the best games I have ever played. So, that's why, uh... You might see me doing stuff and you're like, whoa, you know, how does he know exactly how to do this and everything? It's because I just played it over the weekend. I've been going around trying to find all the Jokers, or not the Joker, but the Riddler trophies and riddles and all that good stuff. And been doing a pretty decent job of it, just interrogating bad guys, which you'll see in a little bit. It has, that part hasn't unlocked yet. That'll be, actually, that'll be tomorrow's video. That's not even going to be today. On this one, I'm just going to go and find out where Mr. Freeze is and things like that. I think this should be it. I think I get the grapnel boost. Yeah, here we go. I get the grapnel boost. And this is, uh, all this does basically is whenever you shoot your little... Grap, grapnel hook or whatever you can double tap A and it'll it'll make the line pull you up faster and it'll launch you into the air when you get to the end and allow you to glide further see like I wish I had it here because I thought I could get over there and grapple onto something but it never let me I think I'm going to sneeze uh oh Yes, that was my real sneeze. In the background. I mean, this game is just beautiful. I mean, like, just look at that. I, I really hope that they make a third one. 
Because there's so many Batman characters that they could get back into, that they could get into, that they only kind of scratch the surface with this, with this game. I mean, I thought it was cool that they put in uh, Raj or Raz Al Ghul into this game, which um, comes up a little bit later on. I don't even remember what part of the game he shows up at. You can hear all the bad guys talking and everything. Penguin and uh, Joker kind of having like a turf war. The old GCPD building. Freeze must be using one of the old forensic labs. I've got to get in there. And here we go. Got to take some guys out stealthily. Which these guys don't provide too much of a, a challenge. On New Game Plus, this part was hard as crap. Let's see, I don't even know what I'm... When you're doing everything stealthy, it takes longer to do. But, I mean, these guys are just... They're, these guys are just kind of letting me take them, all, take them out. Just one by one without that much of a problem. Later on, that little dive, dive bomb move right there, you can actually, uh, it builds up and you can hit them and knock them out with like one hit. As soon as you hit them, it's like they're knocked out. It's pretty, pretty awesome little move. Um, but that's not until like later on. You have to unlock it, get experience points, all that good stuff. I'm like sitting here watching it, man. I don't even like... Don't even can't even think of anything to say because I'm just watching it like God, this game is so awesome. See, look at this. I'm in the smoke right here, and then boom! Last dude, I didn't even get hit once, man. That's like on New Game Plus on something like that. I probably would have came close to dying, if not died. I got all sorts of stuff going on in this, though, man. Like, uh, I was just, like, sitting there playing, and I'm, I was, I'm trying to figure, it's hard to figure out, like, uh, when to stop recording, when to start recording, and all that stuff, because the missions just, like, m like, meld, they, like, melt into each other, and the side missions, like, are very, f like, they're very fluid, they go with the storyline to where you don't even feel like you're doing a side mission. It just feels like part of the actual storyline, like storyline missions. So it gets like complicated as to, you know, if you're playing a story mission or if you're playing a side mission. And on this, I was just like sitting there playing. And finally, when I got to a point where I was, I was like, okay, this is a good stopping point. It was like a 30 minute video. That's how great this game is, man. Like, like you, in some games you play whenever you do a side mission or a side quest or whatever you know it feels like a side quest or a side mission and you it kind of distracts from the storyline missions and stuff like some some games do it well like uh like oblivion uh i haven't played skyrim but i've heard skyrim does it really well like that too this game does it really well I mean, it's just like you don't even. It just, like I said, it just feels like you're just playing at one long story mission or one long storyline. And it's just, uh, it's a lot of fun. The ones, I just hate when, when a story or a side quest or a side mission like distracts you from it and it, it almost feels like you're playing like a, like a separate game or something. It's just, it doesn't make sense to me why, why they, why. You, they would make it like that, but I guess when you're making it, you don't really realize like if it if it's bad or if it makes sense to what you're doing or whatever. But this game does it well, and uh, I've said it before in these videos. I cannot recommend this game highly enough. It's just uh, it's a great game. I'm trying to think of what else is what else is going on. I mean, like. Uh, Supposedly, if all goes well tomorrow, me and Rezzy are going to do some more Saints Row 2 recording. I still got like an hour and a half worth of video to upload and stuff. But uh, 
We're going to record some more stuff tomorrow on Saints Row 2. Uh, he's trying to get, for those of you interested, uh, he's getting his girl, which is Taina Jewel. He's thinking about trying to get her a mic for her computer so that we can record some more of our uh, two, two guys, one girl, and some Minecraft. Which I do have one fan out there of that series that wants me to make more. And if you watch this video, a, I think your name was A-Pool. And if I'm wrong, I'm really sorry. But if, if that is you, A-Pool, and you're the fan of the show, we are in the process of getting more episodes out. Her mic broke, and she wasn't able to record. So... We're trying to get that, all that good stuff figured out and settled and taken care of. And, uh, you know, we're going to get back to it. I have not forgotten about it. So. And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed in the video just now. I should have said something, but I was in the middle of a thought. When I shot that little generator right there, what I'm pointing at now, it like, ma it's a magnet or something, and it pulled their guns out of their hands. And I kind of screwed up. I was only able to get one of them. I should have been able to get all three. But uh, the gliding, I kind of messed up on the gliding and didn't land where I wanted to. So this part actually takes a little bit longer than it should have. I should have been able to take all three of them guys out like right away. But see, it won't take their guns out of their hands because the guns are like sitting there in front of the magnet. So now it just keeps pulling the guns that are on the floor. But uh, the upgrades, one of the upgrades that I got in my game uh, was you, you after you get like a five hit combo, you can do uh, the special moves or whatever. And one of them was that you can take the gun away from somebody if you hit like X and Y at the same time after like five hits, which is another upgrade because usually it's eight hits. But you get the five hits and... Uh, you can run up on him, disarm him, take the gun, and Batman, like, disassembles the gun and throws it down to where no... Because if you're in a group of people and one has a gun, they uh, they will run up and, like, grab the gun. And, like, start shooting again. Like, so you can't just leave the gun on the ground. So it makes it nice to be able to just grab him and take the gun. He also, it's not just the guns. He disarms uh, the people with the baseball bats and the pipes and the sledgehammers. And he'll break them over his knee and stuff like that. Pretty cool little move. Hopefully I'll get to unlock it later on. But right here, those are the penguins, man. I don't know if I, uh, I don't know if I, uh, I know, I know for a fact I didn't. But Penguin is got freeze. He's looking for the cure too, but because he wants to hold it over the Joker's head, so that's what he's doing there. He's captured Freeze, and they were in there. His men were in there looking for the uh, cure because he was going to use it as leverage over the Joker, and so and so. So now I have to go and find. Thanks for reminding me, Alfred. Uh, what you I'm call? I'm building. Come I have to go find some stuff. I have to go do some stuff. It's gonna be. It's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be right super now. sweet. I can't remember what I gotta do. Oh, I gotta go to the museum. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that I got. I just started going off on some little weird tangent there. But I gotta go to the museum and get freeze. Was a, I think a cup fell. Uh, but I gotta go get freeze. And uh, I get sidetracked. I don't know if it actually shows it. No, it's not going to show it because I end it here in a second. But, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys next time.